Hello everyone. We are back again in the class. Now, how are you all? I hope you all are fine as uh, always and happy as always. Yeah, I hope so. And uh, you all are doing studies or not? Yes, you all are doing very good. Now, today I have a new topic for you all. You know, today I have an in interesting topic. Uh, like something different for you. Have you ever seen a panda, a giant panda? Or have you ever listened about it? Kabhi suna hai? Mamma se, papa se, kisi friend se is baare mein? Yes, I hope you all heard about it. And if you have never heard it, I will tell you today about this. You know, a giant panda is like a mammal. It is very big in size. And I will share you one photo also of panda. Look, a panda is very big and uh, it is very heavy in size. And you know, a big and adult panda is like a tall person. You know, uh, panda color is black and white. So, our today topic is the giant panda. Let's start with our interesting topic. I hope you all enjoy with this topic. And at the end, I will ask you the what you have learned. I hope you learned many new things with this topic. So, let's start kiddos. Now, I will tell you something about panda today. You know, this panda, not this panda, every panda is very big in size. And you know, it is as big as a very big man. And it is very, uh, and it is white with black patches on all around it, eyes, ears, shoulders. Uh, patches means like uh, when you see some bodies as black and white. Look, if you have ever seen a panda, it has black patches on his eyes, around his ears, around his shoulders, around the legs. So, patches mean some different, different parts of the body. And you know, uh, it is very soft. It has very soft fur. It has a very big head and it has round ears. You know our ears is different in size and panda ears are round in size. And you know it has a bushy tail, a very soft tail and a very small tail. And it has a sharp eyes and by this eyes it can see very well. Its eyes are too sharp like somebody has uh, specks but it doesn't have. Its eyes are very well and you know the male panda called bo, boar, B-O-A-R, boar. And the female panda is called so, S-O-W, so. You know what is male and female? The boy is called male and the girl is called female. So that type of uh, we have in animals and mammals also. The male panda is called boar and the female panda is called so. And you know the baby panda is called cub. You all have, you all are babies of your mama, papa. So, panda also have babies and their babies is called cub. Everybody has a baby. So, and you know, panda lives in a, a forest or a town and they eat bamboo trees. And they eat daily 10 to 15 kilos bamboo trees, bamboo stick. Have you ever seen that? If you didn't see that, you can search anywhere, you can look anywhere that sticks. So, pandas eat that bamboo stick daily and you know uh, they have a fur, soft fur on its body and you know why they, uh, why these fur help the pandas? They help in winter season. Their fur keeps them warm. In winter season, they help us and the giant panda is a very good climber. Climber means to climb from one tree to another tree. They are a very good climber. It is heavy, but they can climb one tree to another tree. And they use their paw. Paw means hand. In a person's we use hand, but uh, giant uses, we use paw. In animals, we use paw. So, they touch with paw. They just do like this and catches many things. And they tightly uh, hold the food with their paw. So, they climb tree to tree and they use their paw and they use to eat 10 to 15 kilo uh, bamboo sticks per day and they are very starving. You know, uh, we always cut the trees, we always cut the sticks, bamboo trees. You know, what is the possibilities of this? Nowadays, panda is very uh, less in the cities and panda, where we can find pandas? They find in the mountain regions. Mostly in China and Tibet.
in India we cannot find pandas because there are too hot and humid places and they cannot uh, live in these type of regions. So we can find pandas in China and Tibet types of countries. And you know in their countries there is very less of pandas nowadays because they cut bamboo trees, they cut trees. So what they will eat now? Wo kya khayenge? If they will not eat, they can die. So if we cut the trees, if we are cutting regular days, they have nothing to eat and now they are dying one by one. Starving means less of quantity. A giant panda is very friendly in nature when we communicate it in a good manner. But it becomes very angry when we irritate them. It angers become very uh, crucial for us. The giant pandas are very friendly in nature. If we communicate good to them, they are very good to us. But they become very angry if we irritate them. If we uh, do not communicate very good in a good way to them. So be careful in every, not pandas kiddos. If we do uh, something wrong to the animals, they will react. So always uh, pay attention towards them in a good manner. And you know, their enemies are also few. They don't have much enemies. And their main enemies are man. Because man kills the forest. If we kill the forest, they come out to go to another place. And if they go out, they come out. The man kills them for their fur. Because their fur are so soft. Men used to kill them for their fur. They make leather jackets. They make many few things from, from their fur. So it is not good to kill the animals, to cut the forest. And you know, one of the enemy is snow leopard. It is also an uh, enemy of the uh, panda. And you know, the eagle, if you have ever seen, its eyes are very sharp. And they can find their cub. I told you in the earlier na, that baby panda is called a cub. So if they heard, if they see a baby cub, they come and they snatch them. A snatch means to come in a fast way and gather a baby cub. So it is one of the enemy of panda. So babies, what you have learnt in the story? What is the moral of the story? We should love animals and we should not cut trees because many of the animals live in the trees. You have heard about the birds also. So do not cut trees and do not let them people also cut trees. Tell them the story that we should love animals. Till that time, say bye-bye.